Ah, the glorious 80s, where every kid's upbringing was like a wild roller coaster ride through a neon-lit wonderland. But hey, let's face it, as we zoom through the space-time continuum, it's getting clearer than a crystal Pepsi that the rad stuff we grew up with is now as ancient as a dinosaur rocking a members-only jacket. For today's whippersnappers, who can't tear themselves away from their screens long enough to appreciate the simpler joys of life, Let's take a hilarious trip down memory lane and reminisce about 10 gnarly relics from the 80s that are about as relevant to them as a Rubik's Cube in a world of virtual reality. Back in the totally rad 80s, malls weren't just for shopping sprees and awkward family photos. No way. They were battlegrounds, arenas of epic gaming showdowns. Picture this. Kids packed into dimly lit arcades, eyes glued to flashing screens, fingers flying over joysticks like seasoned warriors. And what were they battling for? Not just high scores, my friend, but the ultimate bragging rights. Winning at Pac-Man or Donkey Kong wasn't just a game, it was a badge of honor. With home consoles and online gaming ruling the roost, those mall arcades have become as rare as a unicorn sighting. Now, instead of battling it out in public, gamers can duke it out from the comfort of their own couches leaving those 80s arcade memories as legendary as the mullet haircut. The prehistoric times before Google reigned supreme. Picture this, kids hunched over weighty tomes of knowledge, flipping through page after page in search of that elusive nugget of information. These print encyclopedias weren't just books, they were portals to a world of wonder, each volume a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. Not only were these encyclopedias packed with facts, but they were also a feast for the eyes, boasting colorful illustrations and captivating photographs that made learning an adventure. And let's not forget the satisfaction of physically turning pages, the sound of paper rustling as you unearthed new knowledge. Oh, the nostalgia. You may have been replaced by the internet, but you'll always hold a special place in our bookshelves and our hearts. Sending a handwritten letter wasn't just about conveying a message, it was about pouring your heart and soul onto the page. From the carefully chosen words to the doodles in the margins, each letter was a labor of love, a tangible expression of affection or camaraderie. And receiving one? Oh, that was like unwrapping a precious gift. The excitement of seeing a familiar handwriting, the smell of the paper, the texture of the envelope. It was an experience that couldn't be replicated by a mere email or text message. Sure, it might take a little longer to reach its destination, but that only added to the anticipation. Waiting for the mailman to deliver your letter was like waiting for Christmas morning every day. So here's to handwritten letters, the OG form of communication. In today's digital age where everything is instant and impersonal, let's not forget the simple joy of putting pen to paper and letting our words speak volumes. The good old days of TV watching when patience was more than just a virtue, it was a way of life. Picture this, kids gathered around the tube, popcorn in hand, waiting with bated breath for their favorite shows to come on. None of this click and play nonsense. Oh no, back in the 80s, you had to wait for it. Every week without fail, families would tune in at the exact same time, creating a sense of shared anticipation and excitement that's hard to replicate in today's binge-watching culture. Missing an episode? Well, tough luck. You either caught the rerun or relied on the gossip from your friends to fill you in on what went down. But you know what? That waiting game made it all the sweeter. It was like a weekly ritual, a chance to come together and bond over shared experiences. And those water cooler conversations the next day? Pure gold debating plot twists, speculating on what would happen next. It was like living in your very own soap opera. You're out and about, cruising the streets with your crew when suddenly you need to make a call. But wait, you don't have a cell phone. No worries, because there, shining like a beacon of hope, is a payphone. You fish out a few coins from your pocket, dial up your friend's number, and bam, you're connected, chatting away like it's nobody's business. Payphones were like lifelines for kids on the go, allowing them to stay connected with friends and family no matter where they were. Sure, 
There was always the risk of someone listening in on your conversation. Thanks, no say passerby. But that just added to the adventure, right? So here's to payphones, the unsung heroes of yesteryear. In today's world of smartphones and instant messaging, let's not forget the simpler times when making a call meant digging for change and braving the elements. Ah, the memories. The Golden Age of Movie Nights Back in the day, families didn't just stream their entertainment. They lived for the thrill of renting VHS tapes from blockbuster stores. Picture this. It's Friday night, and the whole family is gathered around the TV, popcorn in hand, as Dad struggles to thread the VCR like a seasoned pro. Once that tape was in, it was showtime. Whether it was a classic Disney flick, a heart-pounding action movie, or a cheesy rom-com, everyone settled in for a cinematic adventure like no other. Sure, there was always the risk of the tape getting eaten by the VCR or getting stuck in the rewinding process, but that was all part of the charm, right? So here's to VHS tapes, the unsung heroes of family movie nights everywhere. Long live the VCR! The iconic Walkman a true game changer in the world of portable music. Back in the day, before iPods and smartphones, kids rocked out to their favorite tunes with this revolutionary device. Picture this. You're strolling down the street, headphones on, Walkman clipped proudly to your belt like a badge of honor. With your favorite cassette tape loaded up, you're ready to soundtrack your own personal adventure. And let's not forget the joy of sharing earbuds with a friend grooving along to the same beat as you explored the world together. It wasn't just a device, it was a fashion statement, a symbol of individuality and rebellion. So here's to the Walkman, the OG of portable music players. In today's world of smartphones and wireless headphones, let's not forget the simple joy of popping in a cassette and hitting play. Long live the Walkman. The freedom of riding bikes in the good old 80s, Back then, kids didn't need fancy gadgets to have a good time. Nope, all they needed was a trusty bike and a sense of adventure. Picture this. It's a sunny afternoon, and the neighborhood streets are alive with the sound of spinning spokes and laughter. Kids zip around on their bikes, exploring every nook and cranny of their turf without a care in the world. There were no GPS trackers or smartphone apps keeping tabs on their whereabouts just the wind in their hair and the thrill of the open road. From impromptu races to secret hideouts, every corner held the promise of a new adventure. And the best part? There were no grown-up eyes watching their every move. Nope. Kids roamed the streets freely, making their own rules and forging their own paths. It was a simpler time, a time when the only limit was the sunset. The golden era of physical toys where action figures, dolls, and board games reigned supreme, offering endless entertainment without a screen in sight. Back in the day, kids didn't need pixels or Wi-Fi to have a blast. They just needed their imagination and a few trusty toys. Picture this, a room filled with action figures duking it out in epic battles, while dolls embarked on fantastical adventures in their own miniature world. And let's not forget the joy of gathering around the kitchen table for a heated game of Monopoly or Scrabble, where every roll of the dice brought new opportunities and challenges. There were no virtual worlds or online opponents, just tangible toys and real-life connections. Kids would spend hours lost in their own imaginations, crafting elaborate storylines and building lasting friendships through shared play. The days of typewriters, the clackety-clack of keys, the ding of the carriage return, and the unmistakable smell of fresh ink. Back in the pre-digital era, kids didn't have fancy word processors or spell check to rely on. Nope. They had to master the art of typing on those trusty old typewriters. Picture this. A young student hunched over a clunky typewriter, fingers flying across the keys as they meticulously typed out their school project. There were no backspaces or delete buttons, just whiteout and correction tape for fixing mistakes. Every keystroke required precision and focus, turning each project into a labor of love. And let's not forget the sound of the typewriter, a symphony of productivity that echoed through homes and libraries.
The rhythmic clatter of keys and the satisfying ding of the carriage return were music to the ears of anyone who grew up in that era.